Thank you, Bob, very much. Uh, I really uh, just came because I read uh, Patty was making a challenge here with showing this film, and I wanted to say, like I think many of you, uh, that I want to accept that challenge to be a partner with you to address what remains a very, very serious problem despite the progress. <laughs> I had some question uh, about coming tonight as to whether on the Saturday before Palm Sunday uh, anyone would be here. And it speaks so well of the community and of your efforts that there are so many people who care and who did come and who also want to accept uh, that challenge. I saw uh, recently uh, an interview uh, with uh, the current documentary that, that some of you have probably seen, uh, A Seat at the Table. Uh, about and the the woman who produced that film talking about what an inspiration the film we've seen tonight uh, was to her in doing the film and how despite the progress we've made that there's still some 17 million children in this country who each morning don't know if they will have secure food for the evening and that really uh, despite our efforts it just has to be unacceptable and I believe that a number of those children from the data we've seen here live within walking distance of, of where we're gathered tonight. Uh, the uh, first thing I think as far as Congress is concerned is to not move backward. Uh, the, sequestration, <laughs> the sequestration on across the board cuts cut WIC. They cut out 500 uh, slots in Section 8 housing for Saha right here in San Antonio. Uh, they have very real impact between now and September. And as you know, we've had since uh, last summer the agriculture bill, the farm subsidy uh, bill, up with a proposal to cut over the next decade some $16 billion from SNAP, uh, the program that Bob uh, was referring to that's so very vital to food security in this country, so not to move back. Patty made reference to the work that I've been doing about TANF, or attempting to do regarding TANF. As Bob said, it is very much temporary assistance, but at any one time, it's only making a difference in direct assistance uh, to about 1% of uh, qualifying uh, working age uh, poor folks, because it's become more of a way of just helping states plug their budget gaps in social services than it has any direct assistance. And here in Texas, I think the numbers, Bob, are about, what, one in 20 plus uh, children are the only ones who receive any direct assistance from it. In short, in the, in the subcommittee, of which I'm the top Democrat on human resources, we are trying to refocus that debate and get away from the stereotypes. We have talked so much, and appropriately so, about strengthening the middle class and broadening the middle class, and not very much about the many people in this country who are down there at the first rung of the economic ladder and who would love to be in the middle class. We, we need to broaden this discussion and this debate to focus again on poverty, on its causes, and on what we can do to use even just the limited available resources to help lift more people up who want to be able to climb up the rungs of that ladder. Certainly in this zip code and in many others, uh, since I saw the right your congressman outside about immigration, one of the things we must do is get uh, immigration reform approved this year with a real path to citizenship. <laughs> And then I think the other thing is continuing to work, as I know you have, on trying to empower families. Uh, to empower families to make a difference, to demand that their government be more responsive at all levels of government, and to give them the economic means uh, through raising the minimum wage and taking other steps to provide more economic security for these families. Uh, but I'm here not so much to prescribe what we need to do as to get your ideas and of how we personalize this story to try to change some of the hearts here and in Washington and every place in between to join us in recognizing that we all gain when our most economically disadvantaged neighbors gain. 
Uh, I am just down the street, by the way, on West Travis by Santa uh, Rosa Hospital. Lisa Marie Gomez, who's there in the back, works at that office. We're there full time. We want to engage with each of the groups and the, the neighborhoods that are represented here to support you in your efforts for meaningful change to address these problems.